Hello, it's Bini here. Today in this tutorial, I'd like to talk more about what is Expert Advisor EA. There are a lot of automations and written in different programming language. Therefore, Expert Advisor will only be run in MetaTrader platform, whether it's MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5. It does not work in any other platforms. Now, apart from um, indicators, Expert Advisor is another set of indicators look alike, but the main function is to automate your trading process. So what will be the automations that you can serve? For example, automatically open a trade for you, automatically shift your stop loss, determine your profit target, automatically add positions. So depending on what are the parameters set in the uh, Expert Advisor, it works like a robot. All right, and basically, it works 24 by 7 as long as you can leave it there to let you do the work for you. In a way that if you have an expert advisor out there, depending on the rules and the parameters, the EA right, will follow these rules and parameters and trade for you. Therefore, it is like a robot who is doing automated trading. However, depending on the setting of the expert advisors, all right, some, some expert advisors can run into a very dangerous mode, especially if you know uh, it's being programmed with certain features like Martingale or grid-based type of trading. Uh, when you are using expert advisor, it's very important to know the details of each of the EAs. Now, lastly, in order to make sure these robot or EA continue to do the work for you, it must be always on. It means that it must be hosted in the sense that it must be always switched on. Okay, so the expert advisor will stay in the MetaTrader platform. So in order to make sure that, you know, it is always doing for you 24 hours by seven days, all right, you have to switch on your MetaTrader and make sure that it's always connected to the internet. Hence, it's being always connected to the broker. If at any one point of time, for example, the EA is not connected to the broker, for example, such that there is a um, you know, internet connectivity issue, then it will stop managing your trade. Let's talk about, for example, how can you host your expert advisor. Now, we have launched ALOM, A -L -O -M, which stand, stands for Alien Order Manager. All right, it is an EA, which is an expert advisor, which auto trade, auto manage, auto add position based on the set of tall rules. However, because it is not like a machine that automatically uh, keep on opening a trade, it works like a trade manager. All right, therefore, you're going to have a full control over uh, Alum. All right meaning that you are able to override instructions of Alum to totally take control. So it serves like a trade manager to help you with a, a lot of tedious work in trading, such as to determine your lot size, um, to shift your stop loss, to calculate your profit target, etc. All right. But in order to make sure that the expert advisor Alum is working properly, you need to do a few things. You need to set up a hosted Okay, now where should you be hosting it? Now let's take a look at this particular place here. Now, um, this is your broker. So the, in the, the task is that you want to put Alum into a server or let's say a computer that's always on. So therefore you have few options, right? You can host Alum in a MetaTrader platform, but the MetaTrader must be located into a machine which is always on, literally 24 hours by seven days. All right, then what are the type of machines? You can choose to host it in, for example, your own desktop at home, all right? Or you can choose to host it in a virtual private server, VPS, all right? So, or you can, for example, host it in a mini PC, or you can put it in a laptop. Right, but there are things that which are not recommended because you know one of the things uh, that you need the expert advisor uh, to to have is you need to have that stability. That means that you need to have a twenty four hours connection by seven days where it doesn't fail. Now, at any one point of time where let's say your machine fails or so something happened to uh, the electrical supply at your home. All right, resulting in there's no internet connectivity, then that expert advisor will not be able to manage your trade. 
Okay, so it is best if you can host it in a VPS. I will talk about VPS later on. So if this is your laptop, right, then you will, let's say for example, you will be hosting that into your own desktop. Your own desktop could be staying um, in your, could be located in your office. All right, so um, in order to make sure that you can uh, see what is in your desktop, which is hosted in your office, when you're at home, Right. So therefore, you're going to use remote access to remote access into what is located in your desktop. So for example, you're at home, you're using your laptop, you need to remote access into your desktop okay, to view what is there and to make changes to the expert advisor alum all right, in your desktop. Okay. So for example, if you have alone in the VPS, then you need to use some remote access tools. Okay, what are the, some of the remote access tools? They are, for example, um, AnyDesk or Microsoft Remote Access, or it can be um, uh, any form of the, uh, remote access that allows you to access that particular computer that is somewhere else or even it can be just beside you it's just that it's just not at the place that you are okay so with this if it's always on then the expert advisor can send instruction via the meta trader and then that instruction will be sent to your broker and to carry out your trades let's talk about where you can host your ea so it can be any device which is 100% uptime, meaning that you don't have that downtime process during market hours. So a lot of time, if you host that with, let's say, a VPS, then you realize that your VPS provider would be doing some maintenance during where the market is off hours, meaning that it's either a Saturday or Sunday where the market is not trading. Okay, so you need a device that's 100% uptime and ideally a low latency with your broker server. Because if you have the a server which is far away from the broker server it takes times for an order to be uh, sent to your broker server right by doing so there might be slippages involved here especially if your expert advisor keep on trading in and out right so what i recommend is that if you're hosting an expert advisor it is good that if you can just use a vps a virtual private server so use these are usually being acquired from an uh, external provider who specially provide you with vps All right so it's a server which is not housed at your house but somewhere virtually it can be in the us it can be in tokyo depending on where it's right um, and you usually need to pay a price for this vps so it'd be good if you can just ask from our preferred brokers to sponsor you all right if you meet a certain requirement um, for the VPS. Now the price will range from around 30 US dollar if you are going for a good VPS. Remember there are VPS which are cheap, right? But uh, a lot of time they are not able to guarantee certain uptime. So this is not something that we want. Okay. Now the other option is you can have some homemade solution, which of course I think that it is not that ideal if you are running your expert advisor, such that for example if you can have a desktop where the desktop is um uh it's something it's is is a machine that you're not really using it, so you basically leave it there and you don't touch it, right? So it stays there, and you're just switching it on, all right? Maybe without a monitor, you just switch it on, and you're hosting. Uh, the EA there, okay. Just make sure that the desktop is always on and your meta trader is switched on as well, and then you can run your expert advisor, right? Now, the reason of preferring a desktop over a laptop is because a desktop has probably a better cooling uh, functions, all right, and thus it's going to reduce your fire reads. But again, that your house needs to be um, with this uh, constant internet connection, meaning that you can switch off your internet. Because as soon as, let's say, there's no internet, you can't send your orders to the broker. So it's as if you don't have anything to manage your trade, right? Or you can have a mini PC, right? Again, just make sure that it's a stable uh, connection, right? It doesn't restart. Uh, and then, you know, you just have to check it constantly that it's always on.